Hi everyone, it's uh, Anthony here from Anthony's Hobby Corner and uh, today I'm going to be doing a quick service on a, a Lima MLW636 um, locomotive. Um, I actually got this uh, used um, at a uh, online uh, and obviously seems to have uh, seen some good service as well. Uh, either way, I figured I'll just do a quick cleanup on this one. It does run okay, but I just want to make sure that when I usually when I get a locomotive, I like to uh, service it myself, so I know it's it's got proper lubrication inside. So here we go. Okay, so let's. Uh, Okay, so it's an interesting design. It's got a little bulb here at the top. Uh, definitely old school. Should have brought the bulb is burnt, but. Uh... Okay, well. Let's, let's stay it out and uh, do a little service here. First step is to remove the bottom part of the uh, front truck. some dirt and stuff caught in here so out from the bottom. Okay, it's not a different design, but uh, okay. Just gonna clean up all the gunk here. For this one, I would leave it attached because why is it attached? Um, okay, it's going to be a quick cleanup.
Well, the brushes are in good shape. Lots of meat on the brushes. So I'm just going to put them to soak in some uh, contact cleaner. To put some contact in in the container here. Put the brushes in all the put in the springs in there as well and let that soak while we're cleaning the rotor. If you notice there is no there is no um, thrust washer in these in these in these motors, which is interesting. Oh it seems to be well lubricated and clean as well. Put some contact cleaner again and clean the insides just to even though it seems to be really good really clean Gonna put the springs also to soak. Okay, it's cleaned. Now it's time to, to clean the rotor. I usually put some contact cleaner first and then I put some brass to polish it down. Got some contact cleaner here. Just gonna take the gunk off the uh, rotor. Yes, there is some gunk on here. Okay, now the rest I need to take with some brass over because deeply embedded dirt in here into the, uh, the commutator edges here. Clean the grooves in between. Okay. Okay, so I got some brass over here. Um, this uh, common, commonly available uh, metal polish. It actually cleans and polishes, so I'm gonna put some of that on the uh, on the commutator, and you'll see it really clean up well.
again just mildly mildly rubbing this with some with a cotton bud is, is ideal because again the commutator is very delicate too and you don't want to wear it out so you're just skimming out the uh, the outer layer of gunk from it that's all we're doing here and polishing up it polishing it up so it has a smooth surface for the brushes to to operate on and there's no sharp or jagged sur surfaces on the uh, commutator especially between the two uh, the two segments Look at the difference there. Fully polished with no uh, no gunk on it left. Okay, so I'm just now going to clean out the gear, pinion gear here. Seems to have got a little bit of gunk on it. So I'm just cleaning that up. Some kind of copper uh, fibers, I guess. The stuff that was on the uh, the pinion gear. Okay, so this is good. The inside of the uh, motor housing is also good. So I'm good to uh, place this back. Okay, I'll just uh, open up the uh, the brush uh, holders here. I can put the brushes back. And I'll clean the inside there too. Just using some IPA this time, just not sure. Um, don't think it needs something that's stronger than that. Just some surface uh, dirt, that's all. So this is ready to go back on Some gunk that's trying to go in here. screws up of 
Great. So now I'm just going to put the brushes back. Now I'm just cleaning the uh, the brush housings with some IPA. Okay. Let's look at the brushes. They're actually relatively clean. Okay, just so gonna take them. Uh, on the piece of paper here and just clean them up. And there's some dirt on there, which has now come out, which is good. back on as well. Just use one screwdriver to hold the spring in place and the other one to push down the holder. Typically, I would uh, remove the, uh, the gears here and clean them all up, but I just realized that, you know, they seem to be well lubricated. There's uh, still some good amount of uh, oil on the uh, on the teeth uh, and uh, all over here as well. So, I think I'm just going to leave it as is. For now, I don't see any dirt caught up between the uh, pinions as well, or at least uh, between the gears. So... Um, And uh, yeah, they were rotating so fairly, really smoothly actually. Yeah, I think that's too much lubrication. I'm not going to lubricate anymore. I'm just gonna leave it as is. And my next service, I'll pull the whole thing apart. All right, so now I'm gonna pull out the contact at the bottom here. You don't want to pull it all the way out um, because it's uh, it's soldered over here, so I don't have much room to pull it out. But I can still clean the inside of the contact there. Put some contact cleaner and clean the contact points and the wheel. Clean the 
the contact point here. On the wheel. And I'm going to slip it right back. Slides right back in there. Okay, now what I'm also going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of conductor lube, which is this stuff over here. Um, and again, by no means am I endorsing these products, but I'm, uh, the reason I'm using conductor lube here is because it's going to help the conductivity and also lub lubricate the contact points here. So I'll put some of that before I uh, put this back into the uh, chassis. Okay, very good to go there. Okay, so now I'm going to clean up the uh, front wheels. They seem to be really fairly clean, but let's give them a little bit of a quick clean up here. Okay, so before I put this housing back on the chassis, I'm going to put a little bit of lubrication on both ends of the uh, motor um, bearings. So this one is close to the brushes, so you just put a, a little dab. And today I'm going to be I'm trying out some uh, some different oil. I typically use um, Hobby Lube um, medium or light oil um, on um, on locomotives and motors, etc. Um, but I'm just trying out, I have some uh, oils that I use for servicing my my mechanical clocks uh, and uh, it's called liquid bearings and uh, uh, it's, it's on a, it says 100% 100 synthetic so I figured I might as well just try them on on these uh, locomotives as well because they do talk about putting them on model railroads so uh, you know I'm just experimenting with this and we'll see how it goes so it's just a small dab of oil in here that's it, and then a bit more on this side, there we go, and one here as well. Okay, and now we gotta sing this thing back in. Okay, and I just realized one of the one of the wires for the light just came off. I'm just going to resolder that after I've uh, installed the motor back into the chassis, and we are good to go later on. Okay, so I gotta put this thing back in. You'll notice there's a little notch here um, in the slider, and this matches the not notch on the uh, on this piece here on the uh, on the uh, motor frame. I'll show you. There you go. So that's how I was able to push it, take it back in. Just lining up. So 
little bit of a tight fit, but it, it does snap back in. There you go. There we are. Put a little lubrication on the slider here. Okay, that's good to go. Now we can put a little bit of lubrication on the bottom and put the, the conductor lube on here. Okay, and now we put the uh, bottom part of the chassis. I'm just gonna clean it up a bit before I put it back on. Just remove any kind of uh, gunk or carpet fibers or anything from here. See, there's still some dirt. Okay. Alright, now it's going to have to solder this wire back in here and we'll be good to go. This is for the light. It's nice and smooth. And now it's just the last piece is cleaning up the, uh, the rear truck, the contact uh, truck. Just pull out the clip. It's a bad soldering job. Hmm. Well, there's a slightly newer design. It's a snap type and not the screw, so. Pop it open. Remember the position of the axle because the insulation should be on the opposite side of that of the front truck. So just make sure you remember that. So they popped the other side out. It comes out. So because these are all contact pieces, I'm gonna make sure I clean them properly with contact cleaner and put some contact uh, conductor lube in there as well. Okay, so. Grab some contact cleaner. You can see the 
Und zwar jetzt bin ich in den Tür, jetzt bin ich mal in Game Studio. In der Rap. Ich mag die Klinge, die Screw, die es in Platz auch well. Die Pin, at least. Weil es auch so Dirt, das könnte accumulate auf der Pin. And then the axle sh uh, shafts are Okay, and these wheels seem a little bit more gunked up a bit, so I'm gonna put some uh, Rassel here and clean the wheel up a bit. The shaft as well, actually. in the wings. This one clean axle for the next one.
Okay, let's put some IP and clean up the wheels a bit. Sorry, I'm actually I'm in contact cleaner. Okay, they're all clean. This is the, uh, the housing looks fairly clean as well, but I'm just gonna give it a, a quick clean up. Just a little bit of dirt here and there, not much. Okay. I'll place these things back. Keep the wheels in the right orientation. Oops. Make sure the springs are below the wheels. There they go. Now I can put some lubrication on there. And here's the pin from this side. Everything snapped in properly. A little bit of conductor lube on here. Okay. All right, we're good to remount this back in here. Um, There we go. I have to put some conductor loop here too. And there we go. Locomotive is ready. Now I just got to solder that wire back on for the light and we're good to go. So I've just decided not to solder the wire back on for this light because I'm going to replace this light with an LED. Um, a current source and an LED to light up the uh, to light up the uh, the the, uh, the, n the number boards above the cab. So I'm going to modify it anyway. So I might as well just uh, do that in one shot. All right. So let me just clean clean the uh, the chassis bit with a little bit of soap and water, and we'll put it back on. Well, I put some uh, some soap and water and cleaned up the shell a bit. It seemed to have. Uh, Removed uh, all the gunk, just a little bit of weathering, I think, in here now, which is which is more realistic, so it's good. 
All right, so I'm going to put the shell back on the chassis, and as I mentioned before, I'm not going to re-solder this wire because I'm going to replace this whole thing with an LED system in here. So, um, just why redo? Why don't have to redo the work again. So let me just uh, make sure the locomotive runs properly, and then we can uh, do the lighting later. Okay, let me get some locomotive here on the track. And, uh, yeah, and let's uh, give it a shot. Let's see how it goes. It runs very nice. Oh, got some speed. Seems to be running pretty well after the service. Should be able to get at least another 40 hours of, uh, of run time off this locomotive. Um, Alright, but I hope you enjoy the video and uh, thanks for watching.